foundation routine I'll be sharing with you guys the products I use to achieve a full face and this is typically what I do when I'm coming to record going out or whenever I choose to do my foundation really I hope you guys do find this video helpful and if you want to see the products I use then stay tuned so I'm starting off with a freshly prepped face and my eyebrows already done I will leave the link to my skincare routine down below so you guys can see the products I use then I'm priming my face with my Sasa Cosmetics Vanishing Cream. It's one of my favorite primers. It really keeps my oils down. Now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in Orange Character. And I'm pretty sure you guys know the whole rundown. With color correcting, basically you use an orange color to neutralize the darkness. And I'm applying that around my mouth and under my eyes and to a few spots on my face. I'm using my ring finger to blend this out. Yeah. Ring finger. Alright? Okay. Now I'm going to go in and set the concealer, and this is just to prevent it mixing in with my foundation when I go to apply it. It doesn't normally, but this is just a precautionary measure, I guess. Yeah. Now going in with my favorite foundation. At the moment, my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in number 13 Chestnut. I'm going to apply that all over my face using my fingers and I'm going to buff it in with a flat top kabuki brush. If you guys have seen my first impressions, you know how I feel about the finish and the color. You know my true feelings on this foundation. My feelings haven't changed to be honest. I'll leave that link below as well if you haven't seen it. But I love this foundation and I'm taking my time to blend it in because nobody needs to be looking like they're wearing a mask. No, not cute. Mm. Now I'm going to highlight my face using my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade form. I'm going to apply that under my eyes to the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And notice I'm doing it section by section, and that's only because the concealer dries quickly and I'm blending it in with a damp. Right up, so I'm going to go in and set it with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I have mixed feelings about this powder, no lie. We have a love hate relationship. I don't know, like some days it works with me, and then other days I look really ashy. But I'm still trying it out, I'm not giving up hope as yet. Now I'm going to set my face with my Sasha Cosmetics Foundation Powder in Perfect Couple with a large powder brush. I'm going to just dust it all over my face. I'm going to bronze my face up using my CoverGirl Ebony Queen Bronzer. And I'm just putting that, you know, hollows of your cheek, forehead. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite bronzers. It just warms up the face, you know, gives you that very tanned look, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to put it, but you know, your face also feel warm and nice. I'm going in with the clean color brow powder in dark brown. It's a very cool tone brown and I'm going to use that just to carve out my cheekbones a little bit and the cool tone color helps you in the whole shadow creating process. Now taking this blush by MAC in Amber Nose, I'm going to apply some of that to the, the apples of my cheeks. And now time for the glow. I'm taking my NYX Illuminator in Narcissist and applying that to the high places of, on my face. And then 
and taking a brush and just blending everything together to make your little more hard line. This is the final look done with eyes and lips. I hope you guys found this helpful again. I had tons of fun filming it for you guys as usual. And until next time, bye honeys. <laughs>